Hey guys, out here today, I'm um, working on the pickup. Um, got these bed rail covers. Um, these are the diamond, diamond plated, or have the diamond grooves in them. Uh, they're the Bushwhacker Ultimate bed rail. And I also got the tailgate cap um, for the truck. So I've actually got this one. It's not installed, I just set it up on the edge. I think it looks pretty nice, it covers up all the scratches in the bed. I mean, you guys can see on the tailgate there how bad that looks, so. And you can see the scratches on the top. So basically what I'm wanting to do is cover all that, cover that all up, um, just make it look cleaner. So uh, basically gonna show the process. Uh, this really isn't that difficult to do. It looks pretty simple. You basically start on back end here here on the rounded corner and peel the um, plastic just red stuff over the top kind of get these pulled back a little bit um, that way you can set this piece in and then work your way to the front as you're putting it on so um, I'm gonna cut back here in just a second when I get ready to start putting this one on right, guys I'm starting this here um, basically you want to get as close as possible here on the back um, Get your back piece pressed down here and up into place like so. And then I've got these pieces here uh, pulled out the other side. So basically I'm gonna pull these and work my way um, forward. very very front um, there's a couple where your cutout is you'll have to pull pull off um, in front of it and then press it all down so, so there so pretty simple um, pretty straightforward as far as how it goes on um, and that's pretty much all there is to it so i'll cut back here in just a second with the other side done as well and the finished project or product all right um i've got both sides on so what i'm doing now is it comes with these clips and they basically just slip up behind here and pop into place and then you've got these little phillips uh, screwdrivers or screws that hold these on So not a whole lot to that. Uh, there's two per side. So there's one up here in the front. Again, it's the same. to it um, and go on pretty solid so and clean it up quite a bit I'll cut back here in just a second when I have the uh, tailgate well, okay one other thing I didn't mention um, there in the beginning of the others uh, taking rubbing alcohol and basically just wiping down um, where that where this is gonna go so get it nice and clean then just use some rubbing alcohol clean everything off nice that way it'll stick well. So we've got it all cleaned. Um, I've already set this up there. So I've got a pretty good idea as to where it needs to be. And it is really super tight. Um, so it's got to be right up against that side when I put it on. So basically, it's kind of the same thing. Start on one end down here. Um, pull these back a little bit. Get to one side pressed on. And then work your way. Some of these 
closer. A little bit of pain to get started, but we can. There we go. So peel that one off. I'm gonna go ahead and peel the end one completely off here too. Really just want to get this corner in and then kind of peel it. If you're pulling these, um, I'm actually going to come up here in the back and put better pressure on it as I'm kind of working, working my way down this one. Takes care of the back side, and now we'll keep working down the front there. All right. I'll cut back in a second when I get all this cleaned up and uh, show this finished product. All right, guys. Um, there's the finished product. Really cleans up the edges. Um, I'm happy with them. So... Like I said, the biggest thing I was wanting is cover up all the scratches on the top of this um, truck. So, really cleaned up there along the bed where all those scratches were along the top of it. So, uh, one thing I did have to do on this end, I actually had to trim off just a little bit. So, I used a uh, just a razor blade and cleaned that up just a little bit. Um, it was barely touching, which and you guys can see that one's pretty probably over just a little bit i may have been off just a touch but uh, still it it fits really nice when it closes i mean the gaps um look really good so can't complain uh, one thing that i have to keep doing is kind of working working around this make sure it's all all pressed down nicely um Mostly up here in the front, just getting this front one. Or just that one piece on the front there. But uh, yeah, really clean it up. Especially with the, uh, the bed liner in the back of the truck. Um, 
it's night and day from from where it was so i kind of the next step um on the truck uh, a few things i've got left or still want to do uh, i do have some pieces for these doors coming that the little uh whatever you want to call those the reflectors for here I've got those coming i do have the paint that i was going to use on these door panels like here the other side's a little rougher but i don't i think i think the color i got i got to spray it on something but i actually think it's this color um so it's a little lighter so but I, i've got to spray it and see uh, exactly what what color it is so um originally i thought it was supposed to be this dark kayak but got that i should be showing up before too long again the lift kit it's on back order i really don't know uh, when it's going to show up i think now they're saying it's going to ship on the 22nd so we'll see and uh, again headlights i've got a grill coming the grill hopefully be here and i'll get a video of that uh, putting that in so got a few other things coming um i'll keep keep updating as i get get things in and get them on the truck i, I am still looking at painting this and going back the original color after i get everything um on it but yeah it's not looking too bad so it's coming together slowly uh, there's still like i said there's still some things i need to work out on it um trying to find these pieces get those put on there but uh, for the most part it's it's getting closer uh, i'm really excited to get the lift kit and then go from there the bumper that's another big one uh, getting it either building one or doing a blacked out uh just steel bumper like what's on it tail lights like i said i really like to get it painted but um yeah really happy with the way the uh those caps turned out um pretty simple to install and again, with that Raptor bed liner, I, I think it looks awesome. Matches well. So again, anybody has any questions on these, uh, I'll list the, the link uh, to these um, in the description. And yeah, I'd love it if you guys keep subscribing. I'm really trying to, trying to push the channel. I think we're at like 435 or something like that. So slowly but surely we're growing. So um, again, thank you for everyone that's watched.